I'm Amanda. I'm Viral. And we're fourth year medical students. And in this video, we're going to tell you about the specialties we've chosen as doctors. Yeah, so a specialty is basically what kind of doctor we are declaring to be, whether it's a surgeon or a neurologist or anything in between. And it's what we kind of go into for residency. So Rosie has a play date today with Max. Max is four months old. And this is actually Teresa's dog, who you all met in my first week video of critical care. She's the intern going into ophthalmology. They're gonna have a blast, I can tell. playing, the pups are finally fast asleep. Hello! I am about to FaceTime with my Miss B letter writer, which is basically a Dean's letter. And we're going to talk about kind of everything that hopefully I need to know for applying to residency and how strong my application is. Yesterday I had my advisor meeting for my Dean's letter, so I spoke to him about my personal statement, my resume or my CV, and then we also spoke about the survey I filled out which will help him write the letter for me. We also talked about kind of how many interviews I should go on, how many places I should apply, and it was a pretty fun talk. He assured me that I will be able to match, so I'm really counting on those words. and. It made me feel a little good, um, although I'm still the kind of person who's always skeptical and has to keep pushing hard to make sure that I can get to where I need to be. But overall, I think it was a successful meeting, so that's a good thing. Hey everyone, so we wanted to kind of talk about what medical specialty we ended up choosing and what we're going to be applying to this cycle for residency. Um, it wasn't easy, so we wanted to give you a little bit of the backstory that led us to this point. So towards the end of college, I was kind of thinking that I wanted to apply into vascular surgery because I had seen several of those surgeries and I just really liked watching them. And when I got into medical school, I pretty much went the route of surgery. I joined some groups, I tried to find some surgical research. And when I got to my third year rotations, I started off on internal medicine. So I really went into there not thinking that I would like it that much. And surprisingly, I loved internal medicine. I really loved the fact that I could sit down and critically think about diagnoses and solve patient problems. But you're not doing internal medicine. <laughs> That's right. So then I had my surgical rotation and I did enjoy watching and doing some procedures, but I just really felt that the field wasn't for me. So I kind of spent a little time thinking back to my previous shadowings that I had done and just saying, well, what encompasses everything that I like to do? And ultimately, I decided that dermatology was the specialty for me. I really enjoy dermatology because it gives me the opportunity to practice medicine and to also do some procedures. I also really think that dermatology will give me the opportunity to see a lot of different patients and just work with patients from all ages. I can see some complex diseases and get to interact with kind of different subspecialties of medicine like rheumatology, infectious disease, nephrology, and even the GI docs. So she was basically like, oh, I'm going to be a vascular surgeon when she you know, got into medical school and when I met her. Um, for me, I didn't really know. Um, I was like, you know, I'll, I'll keep an open mind. I'll try a few different things. And, you know, when people ask me, I would generally tell them like orthopedic surgery because I really enjoyed like sports, really enjoyed fitness. And I just kind of thought, you know, it would be like the right thing for me. Um, sports injuries were always kind of like something that I was like, oh, what happened to cause this when I was, you know, watching NFL or something like that. But as like time went on and really anatomy lab went on, I realized, 
I'm not the biggest fan of anatomy. I like physiology a lot better. It was like, you know what? I might not really want to do orthopedic surgery because it's obviously very anatomy heavy, but I still kept an open mind. I was like, you know, it's, I'm not going to eliminate it right away. And time went on and second year came along. So second year, our curriculum had more organ-based learning, a lot of physiology, a lot of pathology. And I really enjoyed that part, like why certain systems go wrong and like what the normal is and why diseases present the way they do. So that I was a huge fan of. I could think about the rationale behind it. I realized, you know, maybe surgery isn't for me at that time, but I still, once again, didn't commit, was like, I'm not like gonna cross off anything yet until third year came along. So third year, I did try to get orthopedic surgery as my one of my uh, surgical subspecialties and I ended up getting it. And it was pretty early on in the year. So when I went through it, I was like, okay, it just confirmed it. It's really not for me. The OR lifestyle, just the surgeon lifestyle it wasn't for me. My internal medicine rotation came along later in the year and I was primarily in the hospital. So we were just taking care of patients that were admitted from the ED and I really enjoyed it. I mean, you kind of get a incredible variety of patients as far as, you know, heart problems, lung problems, kidney problems, GI problems. Some of the patients, they have multiple problems. So you're working on all the organ systems. Your knowledge has to be pretty solid and you have to consider a lot of different things that could be going on in the patient. And I really enjoyed that. I love that physiology from second year, putting it all together to solve complex problems. You know what, this is what I want to do. And so I'm declaring internal medicine. Currently, I think I like hospital medicine. So that's what I'm considering as of now. This ambulatory rotation I'm on now that we spoke about a few videos back, it's allowed me to see a lot of the subspecialties like hemonc, endocrine, um, cardiology, GI. I'm keeping my antennas up to see if anything really favors one subspecialty over the other. But as of now, you know, I do have time to decide that. I have a few years in IM residency where I can hash that plan out. But I'm just glad that I ultimately figured out what I like and I'm going to be applying to it. You know, deciding really was hard. <laughs> but I think ultimately I also chose dermatology because I enjoyed the fact that I could just talk to the patient and do a physical exam on them. And most of the time that would help me solve their diagnosis. I think nowadays, a lot of other medicine specialties, they have to look at the lab values, they have to look at radiology and kind of consult a lot of different people. But dermatology really is unique in that just by examining a patient, looking at their rash, their lesion, you can really determine the diagnosis and then help them get the treatment that they need. Yeah, you don't need all those labs and x-rays and CT scans. <laughs> Choosing the medical specialty for me was one of like the hardest things about med school, honestly. Um, obviously, we have to study so much, so many exams to worry about, um, board exams and regular quizzes and labs, and it's, it's very stressful. But figuring out what specialty you're going to go into and making that decision, because you're going to be doing it for the rest of your life, was pretty like, you know, daunting. And... For me, I just kind of took it like one day at a time. I wasn't in a rush. I kept an open mind. You know, I didn't want to cross off things and like not give it my all during third year rotations if I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do it or not. And I think that helped me a lot. So just keeping an open mind, um, taking every specialty as if, you know, you're going to do it in the future and trying to get the most out of it, I think is the right way to go about it. I think a good tip and something that people had told us is it's really great that after each rotation, you kind of just take a minute and write down the things that you liked and didn't like. So then when you're reflecting back on what you actually want to do, you'll have a little bit of remembrance of what you really liked about each specialty. Also, if you're first or second year and you do have some free time, it's really important to shadow because during your third year, you might not get to see every single specialty. A lot of surgical subspecialties you might not get to see, or even within internal medicine, you might not get to see all of the branches off of that. So just kind of spend a day or a few days and just follow a few different doctors and see if something really piques your interest. So everyone, we hope you really liked this video and it was helpful if you're in the boat of, you know, choosing a specialty. If you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell to support your future dermatologist and internist.